Hey folks, all right, I'm gonna show you a quick way to mark targets that maybe you've idled past or maybe you're checking out an area you've never fished before and you wanna come back and fish it, you know, be it 10 minutes later, depending on what you see on your unit or two hours later or two days later. This is just a good, quick way to maximize and get the most out of your Humminbird Core Series unit. In this case, I've got a 999. And the first thing you want to do as you idle through those areas, you want to record what you're seeing. So I'm going to assume you know where the record button is. If you don't, you simply go to your image screen and you press menu and start recording. Boom. Okay, now let's go back to the recordings. Okay, obviously you can see I have images here and these are my recordings. So this is the one I made the other day when I, when I was getting ready to do this video. So let's start it. We do that by pushing the right arrow. All right, then we're gonna go to a full side image view. And let me get my camera focused here. All right, one of the first things you'll notice, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit here. All right, one of the first things you'll notice here is we have some very good targets popping up. Okay, we have stumps, nice brush pile, stumps on both sides. So to mark these, I simply use the cursor arrow and let's, that stops the screen. Let's move right over here. Get on top of a target, press mark, boom, waypoint created, okay? Then when we go to another one, let's say we wanna fish, make sure we hit this stump right here. Okay, we press mark, another waypoint created. All right, one more time. Let's come straight across our image. And there's another target. So we're going to press mark, boom, waypoint created. All right, to get the video or the playback rolling again, simply hit exit. There it is. And obviously we could spend, you know, five minutes marking targets. I mean, we've got stumps all over the place. There's two nice stumps. Might even be a small brush pile. There's a small brush pile. So... You know, we're not going to spend time, but you could. If you wanted to do that out on the lake, I, I definitely would. I'd mark all of them. Okay, we're on a small flat out here, and we started out, just so happened, I wasn't sure all those stumps were there, but I started out in a perfect location. But now I want to speed it up a little bit. So while we're playing back our recording, we simply hit the menu key, go down to playback speed, bump it up a notch, hit the exit key, Okay, all right, here's another place. Now, even though it's scrolling faster, to stop it, boom. You simply bump the four-way arrow key and we can mark more targets. All right, in this situation, if you look real close, and I think it's pretty easy to see with this inverse, you can see the old creek channel. It used to run out across this flat. Now, there's not even any depth variance here. That's how silted in this area of the lake is. But what I do see over here is I see a couple of stumps and a brush pile I want to mark. So I'm quickly going to run over to, and in this case, those stumps aren't very far apart. So I'm going to put that cursor right in between them. I'm going to click mark. And then I'm going to go over to this brush pile. And I'm going to push mark again. Boom. There we go. And then I'm going to hit exit. And obviously, we could do this across the entire playback. And you can go back in. You can speed it up. Just by hitting the menu key. We can make it as fast as we want to if you've got a large area to cover. Or a lot of playback to cover. Or we can slow it down to normal. Okay. All right, let's hit exit. And one thing I do want to show you here, as you mark these things, they show up real time. 
on your map screen. So let's go to a full map screen. All right, you see right down here? All right, okay. You see right here? Here's the first three things we marked. Let's see if I can pull that in a little bit for you. There we go. There's the first three targets we marked. And there's the second targets we marked that were along the old creek channel bed. So, if it were me, I mean, you have all this area right in here that unless I saw a ton of bait fish and maybe a lot of fish just schooling out in this area, I'd pull in here, boom, boom, hit this area right here, boom, 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 hit these three targets, catch fish, not catch fish, I'm out of there. So, you know, this just makes your day more efficient. You can catch a lot more fish, which... If you're like me it makes my day more enjoyable and it, you know I've done this for I've used this feature for several years but it, it surprises me how many people either don't know that it's there the recording features there or they just never use it for anything but anyway oh wait one more tip when I when you buy an SD card number one you might as well buy one of the new I think they're called micro SD because the next generation of Humminbird units more than likely is going to use the micro SD cards. So you might as well get those. Number two, I went ahead and bought a class 10 card. I really do believe it makes a difference in, in the recording and how smooth the recording is. And I also, I know it makes a difference in how fast things transfer images, waypoints, that kind of stuff. So, because it does record to your SD card. So you might as well go ahead and, might as well go ahead and buy a faster one. All right. Hope this uh, little video helps you. You know, I spend quite a bit of time out on the water each week, or at least I try to. If there's anything you would like to see me do or try to do, or maybe you're curious about, please leave it in the comment section below, and I'll do everything I can to make that happen. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching my videos. Later.